time skip after two days. You are doing work on your laptop whilst making cause you are making some files against your father with solid proofs. It will send him to jail with lifetime sentence. At that you hear footsteps coming toward your room. Quickly turn other side your laptop cause the file is still on processing. If somehow it turn off, you have to do this again. At that too, open revealing your father made you smile. You run to him before throwing yourself, knowing he will catch you. He is your guardian angel. It seems you missed me very badly. So, my sunshine, how are you? I'm fine. Wait, what happened with your hand? Hold his hand started to check it, made him smile. He looked at him, raising your eyebrows. Why are you smiling? Is this injury giving you pleasure? Nope, actually I was remembering about the past when you were 4 years old. You started to check me after saw me groaning and praying. Then bandage my wounds. You did not change a bit. You look at him understanding what he is trying to tell you, remembering you about the moment when you both first met. You smiled and looked at him pretending you did not understand. He also smiled back. You are treating his wants when you just spoke, made you stop your work and look at him. Sunshine, something happened here during my absence. Well, actually, Yungi was saying something like a test. I didn't understand why he was trying to say. Is everything okay? Actually, you told him everything. And the result is negative. I proved them I mean, not harm. This thing really made Young just surprised, but he did not show. He looked at him and chuckled, knowing he is really good at hiding things. Okay, so you continue work? Talk with you later. You know that you had with that he left. Oh no, my file. I ran to my computer and sagged in relief, knowing file is already saved on my laptop. Good. Ah, let's take a little nap. I'm really feeling tired. You about to close the laptop but a notification popped out made you look at the laptop screen again. What is this now? What kind of file is this? You opened the file which you got through the message and started to scrolling. Your smile slowly started a twisting into smoke. Rest your back on the chair. Hmm, I got something which is enough to destroy Mr. Han. But I wanted to send someone else as I have to maintain my memory loss image. I really don't want to go back that life. Never. And sent. Mr. Kim, it's your turn to do your work. Let me pretend like I'm helping when I'm the real reason behind their mess. I am thinking about Han Ji Hoon. Why he is getting hyper to bring me back to their life was not it enough to bully me even made me scared to go to school just cause of his bullying. And what he was saying the time he was in nature had manipulated by his father like seriously at last the kid also know bullying is a crime and there I was his own sister. My dear sister-in-law, I come my best friend, she really broke my trust and I did not believe your words anymore. Your words were nothing, just tones of light. I would stay by my side, but I really have to thank you for giving me wish to find someone like So Yononni, who never hesitated to kill someone if they tried to touch me. Time skip next day, you are arranging your files when Eddie come to you, made you little startled by her sudden appearance. Oh god, you scared me. I'm sorry I didn't mean it. You know that you had, then she asked. Did you got the file which I sent you yesterday? You look at her with your wider eyes. You got it. I asked did you hold her mouth knowing your opponent lawyer is right behind you and if you hear her everything could get ruined. You mean you send the files to me? Why? Cause I want you to give justice to Ian. 
the monster tortured her enough to give him a life sentence. I know I was a coward to not able to tell her I did not betray her. I was forced by Sana. For saving my mom's life, I had to broke our friendship. I was forced to bully her, or else Sana will stop providing money to my mom's treatment. Please, I want you to send him jail. She says pleading, but you have no expression in the face. You know that your head and tell her to sit on her seat after noticing your father and others are coming here. She looked down for some moments but looked from hearing your opponent lawyer's voice who just called you softly made you turn your head. Something wrong? Then why I'm feeling something is off? It's just um work pressure. But why are you asking? Don't you know you are the reason why I'm off? We yeah, are no well if you want you can rest today. You are saying like you are going to close this case today. Already prepared yourself to send him jail. Well, you can say yes. I got many proofs about him to send him jail and there I have more things you are not aware till. Take rest, Mrs. Jion, and I promise I won't let you get up from your seat. He went and fixed his mask, then went to his seat. And I was the one who sent you the file. Time skipped after 20 minutes. So Mr. Han, how your first boy died? This question is, Mr. Kim, I know what I have to ask. And they are present every single person know. I never ask any useless things which could waste good precious time, so please. While giving birth to Sana. Really? It was why Sansa died during giving birth? Strange, then why you did not hit her? Like you did with your another daughter. You should also hate her. Why I'm going to hate Masana? Exactly. This is also my question. But for your youngest daughter, why you hated her like this? She didn't even drop a tea after got the news of our accident. That's unfair. Your both wives died during childbirth. Then why so unfair? You should treat them equally, right? Okay, leave it. Now answer me another question. Did you ever cheat your first wife during her pregnancy? Mr. Kim smirked after saw him sweating heavily. You did not. But your wife Dari is saying something else. You both married was forced marriage by your parents. You cheated her multiple times with a different woman, even you did not. Left her best friend. When she was with your son, you went to her best friend to fulfill your desire because she was not letting you touch her thinking the baby could get hurt right and then got touched by her brother he beat it you the hell out told her to divorce you but she did not just take off the baby also for her parents she again and you again did that behind her back this time, you got cut by your wife in your own office doing the stuff with your assistant. You saw her about to leave, but you did not let her. You both got into fight. During the argument, you pushed her out of anger caused her water broke. She was almost in the time of delivery, ended up in hospital and died after giving birth. You were the one who killed her by pushing her, but the whole world know cause It's not true, I never did that. You did hear the wife's diaries, where she wrote everything during the time. I was found it in a study room while searching. Well, everything was written on the diary except the last incident. I got a file from a unknown source and there I have some old newspaper cuts, plus some recording from Mrs. Hunt's brother about his character. 
So tell me, Mr. Han, what are you going to give explanation in your support? I guess you don't have. You look at Erin noticing her gaze on you, but you pretend like you also shocked by this. Disgusting. Why is he not after killing a woman in whom his own wife who was pregnant? I never knew he is that much in God. Next question. Do you know Park Jin Su? This time Ji Sang's eyes getting bigger and bigger. Oh please, now don't tell me you don't know him like it. We'll never gonna consider his life, right? Okay then let me remind you. Park Jin Su, your best friend Naka, your second wife Park Hana's boyfriend. Her fiancé who did not able to arrive to the altar because someone crashed his car with a truck and her parents requested her to marry her when she did not want to do just to save their reputation because they were suspecting he ran away leaving her on the altar without knowing he's actually dead. He never wanted to marry her just to show off the others you are not aware of your ex-wife when deep down you wanted it to happen, right? You were obsessed with her beauty. You wanted her, but only one person coming between you both. It's none of your best friends, so you... No, I did not kill him. Continue it.